Greetings one and all, how's everyone doing? I hope, I hope very well. I'm uh, going to be making Bannock apple fritters today on, uh, on my stove again. I'm in kind of on a let's fry it kick lately, so plus it just sounded really good. I'm going to get some coffee going, but I'm not really going to focus too much on that because it's not really the focus of the video. And uh, But it's a little chilly out, so hot brew. And then as soon as the kettle comes off, I'm going to put the oil on. I got my thermometer this time, the one I use for the fish video, so we can uh, see where we're coming at as far as temperatures. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so before my oil gets too hot, first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to make a glaze this time with uh, powdered sugar and uh, I want to mix it first before the oil is done. I don't need a lot of it because I'm not going to just paint, paint it all over the donuts. too much water in there. I think I did. Okay, I ended up making more than I, more than I'm into anyway. Damn it all. I didn't want to make that much. Set that aside. I'm gonna get the bannock mix going. So this mix here is um, well. Actually, I recorded it yesterday, so I'll just show you. All right, let's talk mix. We're gonna go with a uh, half a cup flour. It may have been a little, a little bit more than half, but whatever. It's not an exact science. A teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm going to do a half a cup of oatmeal because I like the texture of oatmeal. We're going to do half a cup. We're going to put it in the grinder though, we're going to make a mess. Should have seen that coming. And we're going to grind our own oat flour. It's just a coffee grinder. I've had it for a long time. All right. <clears throat> We're also going to add apple cinnamon. This is the instant Quaker. The reason I'm using this because uh, one's going to give me apple flavor. I'm going to add more cinnamon, but it's going to give me the apple flavor and all the sugar I'm going to need. So there's that. 
And one thing I forgot to grab was my cinnamon. I mean, I have a little bit more cinnamon. I'll leave the cap on so I don't put too much in. Okay. Just eyeball it. A little bit of salt, heavy emphasis on little. Probably more than enough. We're gonna need to, because I'm making bannock, I'm gonna be cutting in some um, man, that apple cinnamon smells good. There's not very much in there. We're gonna be cutting in some fat because I do that with bannock. So we're gonna add. I don't know, two tablespoons of butter. I know it's going in the donut fryer, but hopefully this won't uh, mess me up too badly. And I got this. It's a um, it's for cutting fat into flour. I just saw Cat in the North using one in one of her videos. She was making something delicious and. I just happened to see it hanging on the rack at Winco, so I grabbed it. It was like two dollars and some cents. I was already there buying groceries, so I figured, eh, why not? I make enough bank. Make sure we get all the. Fat cut in there just fine. And I don't think I need anything else in there. It's actually a really simple, simple recipe. Fat's kind of sticking to the. Cool, but wait, just add water and we should be good to go. All right, I want to basically mix this up. It's going to be a solid. like a biscuit dough which I already know I got too much water in there but no worries I brought some extra flour about what I want. Damn powder sugar. Let's check the uh, temperature on the... Excuse me. Yeah, that might show. It's currently at... Uh, where is it? Two... Approaching 300. So I'm going to turn it up just a bit. There we go. It's probably why bakers wear white. This damn powder sugar. All right. So we got a paper plate here. Now my plan is, I think I got two, but I'm not. Do I have two? I do. Plan is I'm gonna put flour down, and then. Scoops them out. I don't really need to work the dough, but what I want to do is get it nice and get it flat. Might actually be a bit much, but yeah, I'm gonna have to make these smaller because they're just gonna break apart. No problem, I'm okay with small. Let's see, where are we at temperature wise? We are at, oh, we're at 350. Let's uh. Let's run with this. And while that mixes, 
and get my next one ready. Yeah, black, wearing black pants doing this, not smart. I get a paper plate with just some paper towels on it. I got my tongs again. Seems like it's cooking up fine. Give it another turn. Pretty decent, really. If I can scooch in a little bit more. There we go. It's not looking too bad. Give it a flip. Temperatures at 370. Let's see if it holds there. It's got some nice color. In a few minutes. Pull that out. She looks good. We're going to immediately throw in the next one. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sit there and cook the whole batch while you guys watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do basically these two, then I'm gonna cut it and finish them off off camera. Or I'll just record it and then just fast forward the whole thing. Probably what I'll end up doing. And then I'll bring you back when I taste test one, of course, because you guys will probably wanna see that. See how they, you hear my verdict and how they come out. Temperature is at 380 and kinda holding. Wow, this powdered sugar glaze makes quite the mess. You can see the apple, probably the apple right there. It's got some nice color. Still holding about 380, maybe about 382. Now it's just the first spoonful. It's gonna make, it's gonna make quite a few. No problem, I don't have to make them all, so. Temp is still holding, uh, it's getting a little, little higher. Turn down the temperature just a touch. Yeah, she's looking real good. Real good. Probably gonna go ahead and pull this one. Cook the next one. I'm gonna finish cooking these off camera and I'll bring you back.
Alrighty, the moment I've been waiting for anxiously. We're gonna try, this is the first one I did. We're gonna rip it open. Fully cooked. Oh man. Mm. Gotta turn my grill off. Fire off. Dude, that is awesome. Now it doesn't taste just like a donut, like an apple fritter. It doesn't have a lot of sweetness either, but I, I don't mind that at all. You know, it doesn't help Mr. Gut to eat a lot of sweets, but. And I got the glaze still, so we're gonna glaze the next one, but damn. The home run. Oh man. Okay, I do admit, I'm pretty disappointed with the glaze. I ended up making too much, and it kind of looks like crap. But. You know, whatever. Put a little bit on. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just drizzle some on the rest. Because, like I said, they don't have a lot of sweet, a lot of sweetness to them. Like it, but, you know, like I said, I don't mind. There we go. Of course, way too damn much I made, but. I guess the animals will have something to lick on. Alrighty. Glaze on it. Hmm. Was a pretty damn good. And the glaze too, even though I even though I messed it up a little bit, at least I feel like I messed it up. It adds just enough sweetness to where you're like, cool, it tastes good. But I didn't you know dump it. I didn't you know pour it over the whole thing. And oh yeah, those are money. Cooked all the way through. Nice color. Hey, look, I got four more. Real nice color. It's a win. I'll tell you what. Very pleased. These might not make it home. Well, all right, I gotta say, most excellent. Would make again, highly recommend. As always, I didn't mention it, but it was a tailgate Thursday. And um, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.